good morning and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over another way to use some scraps and some recycling, if you will. So this is an agenda that I got um, back in 2019. And um, this was way back in the day when I was still doing um, live videos and whatnot. But uh, the very, very front was not used at all, but I did start using it in August. So um, I wanted to, and I really only used the month portion of it. I didn't really much use the, in the middle too, too much. I mean, a little bit, but not really. Anyway, I wanted to go over a way that we could recycle some of our old planners. And I'm sure there are people out there that have old planners that they've written in. And if you want to keep them for mem memorabilia, great. If not, that's fine too. I'm going to show you guys what I plan on doing with them. So basically, I'm going to turn this into a glue book. So um, the one side is not necessarily um, so important to cover up because just like our napkin glue book, we can just do one side at a time. And so the biggest thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to cover up the writing portion of this. And I'm not going to like be all super duper wonky with like measurements and such like that. I'm going to just fold it and tear it. Simple as that. So a couple things you could do. You can either tape it like with double sided tape, glue it down, or you could glue it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it. Now I have another, oh wait, this is my other, Never mind. I was going to say I have another glue stick, but this is the other glue stick. Um, so I'm just going to glue this down. Make sure you got enough glue to go over everything. And so basically what this does is it makes it to where it is going to be ready to be either a pocket or a tug or a card or whatever. So you can do fairly simple like that and just glue it down. Boom, boom, all done. So first page, done. Second page, <clears throat> we're gonna leave the back as is. Second page, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna collage a little bit. So. Let's put this down first. This is just the scrap piece from a second ago. Boop. And then put that down there. Voila. Grab a piece of scrap paper right there. Same thing, we're not gonna measure it. We're just gonna fold it up and chomp it off. Ow. Okay, just like so. And then we're left with that. And this is just a scrap piece of uh, paper. I recently made a ton of journals. Those are on my shop if you're curious, or at least as of today, there's still some left. <laughs> I know a lot of people have asked me um, when I'm getting journals back in. Um, I don't order them, I make them, so it's, it does take some time to create them, but I do have some up now, um, for now. I don't know how quickly or if quickly at all, they will go. They might stay there for a while. They might not. No idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to go this route again. Bloop. And we can also put 
stickers on here. We could put die cuts on here. You could put all kinds of stuff on here. And I'm just using some paper that I dyed. Um, yes, I dyed my own paper. Uh, I did this a couple years ago, last year, I think. And I'm just using that up. Uh, hopefully, I will have a method for dyeing papers effectively and efficiently soon. Because dyeing papers in and of itself is very time consuming and strenuous on the body because you're standing for multiple hours at once dyeing, you know, a handful of papers. Now, if you do it for a living, like Miss Emily, she dyes papers all the time because that's where I normally buy my dyed papers. Um, then you're constantly, constantly moving and constantly standing. But I can't stand for very long. Uh, even now, even though I've lost a lot of weight, I still cannot stand for very long. Um, we're not sure exactly what's going on with my back, but walking around is fine. Standing in one spot, not so much. Like, I can walk for hours. You have me standing for like 10, 15 minutes at once. Yeah, my back then starts to not feel so great. All right, so the next thing I want to try to do is add some stickers to this. Now, my goal is to be able to use this at a later date. So I don't want to just random, you know, willy-nilly stick stickers all over the place because I want to be able to use it later, you know? So I'm going to cover up these lines down here with that sticker got some stuff over here i need something that's a little bit more condensed i think i don't know if that's going to cover that up that might not be big enough that's not colorful enough these might work Dream big. Let's use you. Um, let's save you for a moment. Hold that thought. Let's. Oops. Don't mind me. I'm just over here making noises with my computer. All right. So let's cut some of this down. Right. We're just going to cover up those dates right there. Okay. And then put our dream big back over here. Okay. And then uh, put something right here. Actually, I've got some ledger paper here. Let's grab a piece of that. This is uh, ledger paper from 1900, I think. Yeah. Which is actually pretty amazing because it's in really good shape for being that old. And then bloop. and we're just basically turning this planner old planner because this is from 2019 so we're turning this old planner into a glue book but we're turning it into a glue book that we can utilize later so it's not just a manner of willy-nilly throwing stuff down. It is a manner of making something useful that we can use at a later date, as well as willy-nilly throwing stuff down. Because, you know, everybody likes just not thinking about stuff and just, you know, gluing. Because that's fun. That's one of the glories of the glue book, right? So...
And why not put stickers all over the place? Because who doesn't love stickers? All right. All right. Now let's turn the page again. And we're going to use this side here. I'm going to use the ledger piece like that. Just like that. You could also use um, wet glue if you wanted to use wet glue. You do not have to use a glue stick. I'm using a glue stick because it's here. It's available. You can use pretty much whatever you want as far as adhesive goes. There are no rules. There are no rules in creativity. At least not on my channel anyway. I don't do rules very well. Um, I'm just like, rules, schmools. Rules keep you from having fun. And that's the glory of artwork is you get to have fun with your artwork. Okay. And we can put some stickers on here. Now we can use these because they're a little bit, these are kind of transparent. My dog's going crazy right now because my, my son came in and then left again. Um, I kind of like these skulls. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but we're going to put them down and see if they come in handy at any point in time. Because they might. You never know. I'm just kind of putting these other stickers from this page over here because they all kind of go together I think and we'll do one more there we go next let's do this one and we'll do another yeah, I can even show you guys more glue. Um, so I've got this drawer and my goal this year was to use up like, glue and adhesives that I have. So I have lots of tape. I have um, glue tape. Um, I have more glue type. Um, scrapbook.com. More. Oh, I have glue dots. Ooh, I have lots of glue dots. I have more glue dots. Mini dot and go. I have a lot of those. Um, Ooh, something else I have a lot of is foam dots. Holy mackerel, that's a lot of foam dots. So I actually thought that there was a glue stick in here that I was, I, that's what I was looking for. Because I was going to be like, yeah, I'll just grab another glue stick. Um, Because I don't think glue dots is going to really work with a glue book. I mean, it might. You never know. Oh, I have them in the wet glue. That's what it is. So... Uh, I don't know if you guys remember these things, but I used to use those a lot. Oh, and tacky glue. I have a lot of tacky glue, too. So, like I said, we can use all kinds of glue. That's my goal, is to use up some of these, some of these glues. I have a lot. So, since we're over here playing and there's no rules, let's use up some of these pretty little glues. This one is a double-sided tape. So let's use this. Bloop. And bloop. All 
All right. I'm gonna need my pokey thing. Hold that. And I have this cute little trash can beside me. It's really quite adorable. I got it at the Dollar Tree. It fills up quick, though. All right, so where are we putting this? We're going to put this right there. Pew. All right. Got another piece right here we can put right there. Or we could do it like this and do that. Let's do that. Um, bloop. We'll do that right there and that right there. Bloop, bloop. And then let's grab. Oh, you're pretty. Let's grab you. Um, let's go with the glue stick. Ooh, I don't think this glue stick is going to work. It's all dried up. Well, <laughs> there's one done. Does that count? I don't think so. You're dried up too. Okay. So, uh, tacky glue it is. This is turbo tacky. Ooh, I like that one better. Hmm. Mm. Let's do this. I might have to declog this thing. Is that a thing? Declog? I don't know if that's a thing. It is now. <laughs> All right. Let's go upside down like a so. All right. And let's stick a sticker right there because I want to cover up that seven o'clock. Bloop. Just like that. All done. And this one's really pretty, so let's use you. Put you right there. Okay. All right. Next. All right. Now let's go with. Ooh. Okay, that's a really big piece though. I don't want really to want to use a really big piece on this. Um go in there. What are you? Ooh, I don't know what you are, but you are cool. I don't know what this is. This is probably some newspaper or something that I obtained from somewhere. <laughs> I know that is so helpful. All right, let's stick it down, shall we? All right, let's go with you're too big, but that's all right. We're just gonna go right on the edge. And bloop, bloop, bloop. And bloop. Voila. All right, no idea what this is or where it came from. I'll put it right there. Wow. 
Oh, aren't you pretty? You're pretty. Let's put you there. Wait, I go. Whoa, this is very sensitive paper. Very old. Not real sure how old, but very old. Okay, and then your dog. Yes, he feels the climate just as much as you do. Hmm, that's cute. Um, let's go this route. There we go. Take the excess off. All right, what else we got? Anything little? Little, little. All right. Um, let's see what else is in here. There's a lot of clippings in here. I'm not sure what this thing is, but it's cool. Boop. Just gonna break that a little bit. Don't mind me. See? Who says you can't use super vintagey old crackly paper in glue books? Not I, said Flyboy. Those were cute books. There we go. And then this one that way. Poof. Voila. Now see if you really wanted to, you could also scan this and make your own like handmade ephemera. Handmade digital. Yeah, whatevs. Um I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this other stuff down because this is quite fragile. And I would like to get it down before it breaks. Mm. I like that one. Whee! It's a very interesting sound this thing makes. So who is completely annoyed by that sound by now? Sorry. You're probably more annoyed with the Alright. There's that. And now we can add something across the side of it here. Oh, wait, there's... Stuff. Oh, that's cool. Oh, well, we kind of need to cover that up first, huh? That's okay. We'll just put it here. Bloop. That's kind of cool, actually. Let's cover up this, whatever this is. Ooh. Okay. Bloop. Okay. There's that. Let's go with... This one here. Just like that. Go back to our splotches. Where's our splotches? There they are. Splotches! I have no idea what that is, but it looks really cool. 
they're just little gold speckly things. Kind of add more character to this really, really old magazine newspaper clipping thing. Bloop. Come here. So, I don't know if this is technically a scrappy video or a recycle video. Not sure. Because, I mean, I think technically we're recycling. I think. I'm not sure exactly. Alright, um, and I mean, we do have a really bunch, a really bunch, a lot of, I really want to stick these down because these are breaking in my hand. Um, Let go, my ego. Okay. All right. Let's take that part right there. Off. All All right, so this is what you can do with an old planner that you don't really want to throw away. Yeah. You can even take this a little further and just kind of collage with the clippings on this page. I don't think I have a little bitty one anymore. Wait. Oh. Yeah, I do. Oh, there's one. That'd be cool.
I have no idea where these came from. But they're pretty useful, especially when you're trying to, you know, collage -y stuff. So I thought that's pretty cool. But anyway, yeah. Um, so that is what you can do with an old planner and some scraps. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are inspired to reuse some pages in your old planners and create some pages that are ready to be turned into some tags or some pockets or some journaling cards or whatever. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun doing it and I uh, hope you guys are inspired to do something and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.